All right, pretty standard. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Ty Slim Vlogs. Um, it's going to be a quick little video today showing you how to get an old outboard motor running after you put it away for winter. Uh, this is my little Florida skiff here. It's my work boat. I uh, got an old, old motor on there, so just want to show you my process of uh, frying your boat up after a winter slumber. Here's the boat as it sits. It sat outside all winter. I just threw a little cheapy bag over the center console. Um, here's the old motor. So nothing special, just laying in the weeds. And I'll show you how I fire them up every year. Okay, now that we got this workhorse towed out of the back 40 there, um, we're going to get the battery charged up. Now that we got the old never start hooked up, let's get her charging. Now before we get too crazy, the first thing that I like to do is I like to just crack the drain plug on the lower unit and make sure oil comes out first. Um, if there's water in there, the water will come out first and then you might have issues. Hopefully your lower unit didn't freeze and split over the winter. Um, this is like an old trick that a uh, very, very wise man taught me, worked at a marina for 20 plus years, Mr. Jim. So uh, I just like to see how the lower unit is before anything uh, while the battery's charging and then we'll go and do a few more checks. No water, that's money, dude. Um, it's just running really slow because it's so cold right now. So we we'll just, Seal it back up. I just covered my console with a little plastic bag, some duct tape. Uh, so I just need to get that off. Maybe get the ice out first. Now we're going to trim the lower unit down. So this particular motor is an Evan Rude SPL 88. Um, and I got it used off a guy for like 200 bucks. It replaced my 75 horsepower that had a crack lower unit. So I pretty much just slapped it on. The plug and the connector is all hooked up. And it ran good, so I'm impressed with it. I mean, it looks good. It's got that patina on it. It's pretty mint. So um, I like to crack the engine cover off and just do a visual inspection after winter, make sure no mice or snakes or anything build a nest in there. Crack the tabs on this. Now I just start my visual inspection. Uh, everything looks pretty good. No mice or anything made a nest in it over winter. 
you got your standard it's a v4 two stroker a lot of thunder under there um really everything looks good um so i'm gonna crank this over and just see if it cranks i'd like to leave the engine cover off and just look at the flywheel and everything when i crank it i'm just gonna bump it with no water and see if we got power and everything going cranks i'm getting ready to fire this workhorse up and all i really got to do is give the fuel primer ball a couple pumps make sure the filter fills up and then uh uh, this boat has a primer on the key. You turn the key and push the key in a couple times and it spits a little bit of raw fuel into your carburetors. Um, now I don't have any, I don't think I put fuel stabilizer in this over the winter. Um, I don't know if I put some sea foam or something in there. I'm not sure. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, this is two stroke mixed in the tank. So I feel that the two stroke oil kind of makes the uh, ethanol fuel hang out a little better i um, in my experience i'm not a scientist um i recommend you put fuel stabilizer in your stuff but i just have a lot of stuff sometimes i don't i've had good luck with carburetors sometimes um i think you're gonna get bit either way with this crappy fuel we have now so either way if you can run non-ethanol fuel, fuel though or wreck fuel in your boats i definitely Definitely recommend it. Give that primer ball a few squeezes. A little bit of love here until you see your fuel fill up in your fuel filter there. Now you gotta get your earmuff set up on your lower unit here so you don't run your impeller dry. Uh, these need things need water all the time or you're just gonna have uh, your rubber impeller melting. Come around the front just like that. You want to cover your intake holes here and then make sure you have water flow we got water i'm going to turn on the water i'm going to hit the primer and then i'm going to hit the key and hopefully it fires up it's cold out here today i'll show the temperature on my phone here and hopefully it starts I saw it I didn't have to do too much um, it was 23 degrees I believe last night so this thing fired up no problem I mean I really am a true believer that do your proper maintenance but old dogs like this you don't want to do too much they just want to run less is more sometimes you know if you get your crazy guy who does every little maintenance item his stuff and especially if it's an old girl like this it may never run just take care of it, but don't overdo it. Don't overthink it, because um, it just fired up. You can see that I put it in forward and reverse just to make sure everything was working right. Um, I'm gonna grease all the fittings, uh, the steering linkage, 
and the the shaft head and everything like that and drain and fill the gearbox oil um, if you guys need to do that you can find another video on that but I mean I'm pretty stoked this thing never lets me down yet and uh, I mean pretty easy fix actually no fix just a little startup well I thank you for watching please like comment subscribe I'm Ty Slim and this is Ty Slim vlogs